Fellas, we got an SMG in front of us, and that's right. It's a 750 round per minute SMG, which we don't have many options in that category. I mean, when you think about it, we've got a ton of lightweight SMGs. Adaptives are pretty common. There's not a lot of precision SMGs, but they're not rare. Aggressives, though, there's not many of those. You got Terrible, you got Huckleberry, you got the Igalos SMG, Imminent Storm, and then with random rolls, you got Hard Truce. Now, Terrible and Huckleberry are some very good SMGs. Huckleberry being probably my favorite SMG, and maybe overall my favorite weapon in the game but when it comes to legendary aggressive smgs we're left with very slim options until the introduction of the new smg cold front now currently right now if you want to get this smg you got to bake some cookies with the dawning event and i think randomly when turning those cookies in every now and then you'll be given a gift to your inventory which has a chance to either drop the avalanche lmg which is the one we had last year in the dawning event and of course cold front now cold front has a couple very unique roles here especially on an aggressive SMG. Big shout out to Rip as well as the Dirsch Bag for allowing me to try out their roles. We actually wanted to answer a few things with this aggressive SMG. Number one, can it outrange something like Anio? And is it consistent enough? Because at the end of the day, even if it could outrange something like Anio, that stability, that's bad. There's no two ways around it. That is a terrible stability stat, which is kind of crazy because when we look at Huckleberry, Huckleberry has a good stability stat. Terrible has a pretty decent stability stat. Both of those range between like 30 to 40. But then when we look at Cold Front, it's at a whopping 16. Surprisingly, it's better than Hard Troops at 15. Whereas the Static Rolls, Imminent Storm, and Ikelos, both of those had very good stability stats so i really don't know who at bungie decided that they needed to cut the stability stat by like 60 70 percent it just doesn't make sense here because the sad part is this is a 750 round per minute smg making them technically one of the better time to kill smgs in the game at 0.67 seconds but simultaneously making them the most unforgiving archetype of all smgs requiring nine crits and with each consecutive crit that you miss you're extending that ttk value to the point where it's just not worth you using it and unfortunately those stability stats is not helping consistency here at all now the first role that we played with was a kill clip feeding frenzy role it had things like full bore to really extend that range didn't necessarily have the magazine perk that we wanted but we had a range masterwork combined with the lethality of something like kill clip and the ease of use of something like feeding frenzy this was actually a very good role for both pvp and for pve and i'll say for my pve users cold front does an excellent job there's actually a number of different roles you've got the curated role which comes with something like osmosis and zen moment but you can even take another step forward and go something like osmosis and feeding frenzy vorpal weapon and feeding frenzy or if you just want to run a gun you can rock something like auto loading holster hands down kill clip feeding frenzy is a great combo and for something like crucible it was eating people up when kill clip was active dropping our time to kill from its 0.67 seconds hitting at 22 per crit and 15 per body all the way down to 0.5 seconds hitting 29 per crit and 20 per body i think it's understood kill clip on pretty much any weapon definitely makes it lethal but that kind of puts pressure on the front end of the smg can it lock down kills and in a world of special weapons with mind benders and lord of wolves and everything you can think of smg's got it tough man i mean i know recluse was reigning supreme but there's not many smg users inside of crucible kind of like sidearms both of those are pretty much in the same neck of the woods where yes you can use them you could do pretty good with them but if you got that guy that's just playing inside sitting around a corner with something like a shotgun it's almost impossible to beat those guys unless there's an objective at play which is why whenever i choose an smg i need something that can fight in primary territory things that can stretch upwards to 25 meters which is what antiope can stretch to even the static row antiope here no masterwork just by itself with its sc hollow sight can stretch all the way up to 25 meters and that's not to say all end all anio you can get god row antiopes out there that can go even further I'm sure y'all seen videos from cami cakes there's some nasty antiope rolls and this gives you a fighting chance as it allows you to consistently tack on damage because the moment we even start to see any damage fall off that ttk value of that beautiful 0.67 seconds you can kiss that goodbye so yes feeding frenzy kill clip that's a very nasty combination but the smg still has to get a kill in order to take advantage of those traits and even though this smg has pretty decent range rolls full board range masterwork you're still looking at a cutoff range of 17 to 18 meters now on our more forgiving smgs i think i could take that a lightweight smg maybe even some of our adaptives but on an aggressive smg i don't know guys to me i feel like aggressive smg should have more range than this which actually brings us to our second 
second row. In this row, we took a step away from the lethality of something like Kill Clip and focused mainly on consistency. We're actually combining Zen Moment here with Range Finder. Now, considering that the stability stat on this thing is so poor, Zen Moment seems like a perfect choice here. And I'll tell you guys, the moment I started shooting this weapon and landing damage, Zen Moment is a must-have perk, especially for my PvP users. Because again, guys, this is an aggressive SMG. High damage, but high recoil. Now, as far as Range Finder goes, there's nothing about this role that's really boosting my range stat. It puts it somewhere between the neck of 50 to 55 range. Now, without Range Finder, that would actually give me a range of approximately 15 meters. Everything after 15 meters, I will start to experience damage fall off. With something like Range Finder, it tacks on an extra two meters. Two! Now, it's still two meters. I mean, it still puts it in 17 meter range. And maybe, just maybe, if I had a Range Masterwork, Full Bore, Akira's Rounds, all those things boosting that range, just maybe we might touch 20 meters, but barely. But again, guys, you still got King Antiope over there that can outrange it with ease. So what is the point of this aggressive legendary SMG? And why, despite it having a pretty similar look to something like Antiope, why does it fall short in terms of range? Really, it comes down to zoom, guys. Notice right here on your SMG, on cold front, it simply gives us barrel options. Instead of us having different scopes to choose, something like Antiope, where I could choose something like Thermal Sight, or the Iron Sight, or just this basic SC Hollow Sight, despite cold front appearing to have Visually, the same exact site or scope that something like Anio passed with that SC Hollow site, it does not seem to apply the zoom in any kind of way. Keeping it zoom at approximately 13 versus our zoom there on Anio being 17. And like I said, you can get away with a 13 zoom on a lightweight SMG simply because those are more forgiving. Most of the gunfights that you run into with something like Recluse are going to be most likely conducted up close. But even if we compared it to something like Hard Truths, this SMG also has the option to choose different sites, which affects our zoom here, thus affecting our damage fall off. So the downside is to cold front guys, even though range finder zim moment was a very consistent role, I found that the lack of stability, its base default stability made it a poor choice for crucible. Then I found not only did it have the base default stability equivalent to that of something like hard truths, but it also had a zoom that was on the same level of our lightweight SMGs, meaning things like hard truths and anio easily beats it out. So despite getting the god roll on something like cold fronts and farming for the best stats and the best range all of those things will still come short to a mediocre anio or a mediocre hard truce just because of its base design so going into this dawning event guys if you're looking to farm something like cold front i would just suggest going after a good pve roll it's in that kinetic slot it's got a lot of options there that can make it lethal inside of pve you've got osmosis you got kill clip you got vorpal weapon you got feeding frenzy for that quick activation and reload speed you got auto loading holster if you want a running gun but that's where i would stop it that's where i would pump the brakes this is not an smg for pvp it's got too many things working against it yes you can load that range stat up to 80 something or close to it yes you can get things like range finder on it but simply not having an option to choose a different site or even better yet taking advantage of the base default zoom of an sc hollow site to begin with correct me if i'm wrong guys this is sc hollow right like i'm looking at it right now that's an sc hollow site we're supposed to be seeing a plus four default zoom being tacked on here to this smg cold front does not get that even though it may look like that site it applies no benefits that that site even gives you and when it comes to smgs especially smgs that are really trying to reach out there and touch hand cannons in its optimal range because they can do that a combination of both range and zoom is what you gotta have Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. <laughs>